How? How did you leave the neckbeard life? I just, just took care of my personal hygiene and treated women like human beings. Yo, the sad part is, unfortunately, some of this seems to be more difficult than being able to play Dark Souls, beat it flawless, while you're plastered, and have an arm behind your back. I don't know why, but apparently it's harder than that to these guys. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash Justin and neckbeard things, and if you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more content like this in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, start up them wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe and turn on notifications. Hope the channel gets 60,000 subs, okie dokie, alrighty, let's go. Freaks and Geeks alumni and Fedora guy Jerry Messings says he is partially paralyzed after being placed on a ventilator in a fight against the virus. This really is unfortunate, and I still hope that he pulls through and has a speedy recovery. I know that paralysis isn't really the easiest thing to come back from, nor is it something that people even come back from in the first place, but I hope that he doesn't die. Stay strong, Pugsley. Why do women terrain for ripped abs? It's because they want to look like men. Truthfully, it's gross. Lips, tats, and hips. Men are simple. We want the classic beauty of a feminine hourglass shape. At no time in history did men ever want women with ripped abs. Hi, historian here. I'm comfortable in saying that at no time in history have women ever wanted you. I don't even need to say anything. This dude just went straight up the watcher to Stephen Strange like you did this to yourself, dum-dum. I don't even need to interfere. You're self-perpetuating stupid. Well, I literally cannot effing believe this. Of course, I get mashed up with a woman I close to dashboard because I already knew as soon as you effing spoke that I was eff. Do the entire gaming community a favor and having kill yourself. Girls belong in the kitchen, not on games. And then y'all dudes complain that there aren't enough women playing video games. Like, what, what the heck? Her genetic makeup is not the reason you suck at video games. So as the old saying goes, Get good. Ugh, you're one of those types of guys. I'm guessing girls don't like you very much. Ha <laughs> Believe it or not, it's the exact opposite. I play the role of platonic male trusted friend who is not gay, or at least nobody can say, in the lives of so many women offline IRL. <laughs> the trick is to be plausibly performative as the stereotypical psycho-emotional human tampon sympathetic Mr. Nice Guy while remaining as blandly boring as is humanly possible, i.e. never show and tell them anything which they would find the least bit remotely interesting and slash or threatening about yourself, and you can get away with having a double life a la Clark Kent. You're an effing creep. You should be posted on the sub. Oh, oh, you do your one better. Say hi to YouTube. You know what's a severely counterproductive thing and it just is kind of stupid for you to do? Is to comment something on a sub and then get yourself posted in that sub. You know, I honestly get the weird feeling that somebody saw that episode from South Park with World of Warcraft in it and uh, thought of this and I swear this is just, this is absolutely cursed. What's even worse is that somebody animated a video where something that looks like a rotor rooter comes up through the bottom and, you know, just rotor roots. Uh, can you name me a one benefit from giving women equal rights? You're not interested in a good faith conversation, so I'm not interested. Thank you. Have a nice, pleasant afternoon. No, I'm interested in a good faith conversation. I'm just trying to research the parallels between feminism and mass shootings. It seems like all of the people who commit these atrocious acts all have one thing in common. They were hurt by women. For example, did you know that most serial killers and R's were raised by single mothers or had abusive mothers? I think the problem is caused by something called a female hypergamy. When you disincentive of marriage, having children, and allow no-fault divorces, you end up with a population of mostly single and slash or people in dysfunctional relationships. Approximately 80% of women are dating 20% of the men, and it's because of hypergamy. But because these people are staying single instead of getting married, you end up with a massive pool of men who are lonely, and for no 
no fault of their own. Online dating and social media have only exacerbated this issue by allowing women far greater access to male attention. The solution is for the rewriting of laws pertaining to marriage and parenting. Women must lower their standards by about 20 to 30 percent, and things like masculinity, honor, chivalry must be respected and cherished once again. Why do you think so many men are dropping out of school, of society, and offing themselves? Men need a purpose to feel wanted. We are expendable creatures, and that's why we do the heavy lifting. If this doesn't happen, we are headed back to the Stone Age. By the way, I know this all for a fact because I grew up in a broken household, and I just so happen to be in the 20% of men who get all of the women. Some of you are even honest with me about it too. It's awful the way you view men. We are basically objects in the eyes of women now. Just toys who provide you with pleasure, whether it's ass or it's attention. Once you understand how hypergamy works though, and what women are attracted to these days, it's incredibly easy to trick women. That's the funny part of it all. Guys like me are the biggest beneficiaries of women's rights. Because now we get to have S with anyone we want, basically, without any repercussions or commitments. Women will lose regardless. It's inevitable. You're talking a lot of smack for somebody who only sole purpose for running is to run to the microwave because your nuggets are done. Blank wants to be your friend. If you're on Facebook, you've probably gotten a friend request or a message from an old high school classmate you didn't quite remember. For one woman, that experience turned into a year-long nightmare. Out of the blue, Blank, who lives in Laurel, wrote and thanked her for being the only person ever to say hello or be nice to him in school. She didn't remember him, so he sent pictures. She googled him, found a yearbook, and realized they apparently did go to a high school together. Yeah, it's honestly kind of weird when you uh, have people that you went to high school with just randomly message you like seven years after you graduated school, because honestly, a lot of the people I went to high school with, we did not leave on good terms just because y'all do were dongs. Oh yeah, by the way, Eric, you looking a little sketch too. What's up with that? A bike neighborhood calls me the sword guy because I carry a sword around me with me everywhere. I can use my swords in non-lethal ways too. For example, hitting the attacker with the flat of the blade. Hopefully it never comes to that. And in case anyone cares, lol. My sword is a beautiful full tang D2 tool steel gladius with a rosewood handle named Named the Rose Thorn. This dude about to be the first person to ever get blacklisted from participating in the neighborhood watch. Some dude try and run up on you, and then all of a sudden you hear in the background, How about thee? You how to find your friend group in university when almost every group has females in it? So I, 20M, I just started med school, and it's hard to find a group with only male students, because there's always girls in them too. If I socialize with them, they're gonna invite me to hangouts, which is, will have females too. And since they are a numeram for me, it is not alright to interact with them without any need or purpose. But I also don't want to be left out. So. Are you getting upset just because there's women that exist? You honestly have me at a loss here. No nose ring, no leg chain, no waist bead, no tattoos. Do we still have such ladies here? Dudes like this will complain about tattoos on other people, but then their car will be stickered all to heck. I'm only realizing now having a girlfriend changed me. Like, I used to be super happy every day thinking, wow, I'm lucky to have someone there for me all all of the time no matter what, and then get stabbed in the heart. And like the way I got dumped was just harsh. She blocked me and ignored everything I sent for a week until I got in contact with her and her excuse for breaking up changed literally every day. It went from you kept making me uncomfortable to I stopped liking you to I like you but you're just someone I wouldn't date. Like what the frick, no thanks. 
blanks. And not even for a second the dude would think, oh, maybe it's because I'm not taking no for an answer, that's why she's changing her reasoning. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and to see more videos like this in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and if you have not already, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.